with you forever. Nobody can take me higher. I must stick with you. You know I appreciate me. I must stick with you, my baby. Nobody can make me feel this way. I must stick with you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, I'm uploading again. Who is she? Who am I? I am me. Who are you? <laughs> hey, how are you guys doing? Yes, I'm wearing my tank top once again today because I'm doing my makeup and um, the fallout is crazy and I don't want to mess up um, one of my regular shirts so I'm like you know what I'm just gonna wear my tank top um, so yeah how are you guys doing I just saw y'all yesterday wow please don't mind my uh, my cover up my uh, headband covers up the mistakes that have been made <laughs> so and I know some of y'all out there feel me right now because we are all struggling. I promise you I'm taking out this unit coming up hopefully in a few days because I cannot handle, I can't handle it anymore. It's just gotten to the point where it's gotten so crazy. Um, I just went and started washing my blonde wig for, that I used to wear a lot. Um, so now it's in reconstructive mode because it looks crazy. I literally had, like it literally tracks have fallen out. The lace is all gross. I had to scrub that shit so like, I'm waiting for it to dry so then that way I can re-sew it together and fix it. But yeah, so today's video is going to be a makeup, um, I don't want to say tutorial, I guess it's going to be a makeup look. You can follow what I'm doing. Um, I'm just YOLOing this, I don't even know what I'm doing. There is a look that I am going for and I will show you. Um, this look is what I'm going for. So I'm going for this kind of like purpley, um, like spacey style look. Um, I already went ahead and did my actual like face makeup. Um, all I gotta do is just add a, a crap ton of blush when we finish with the eyes. So I'm going to try to accomplish this look. So if you wanna see how I do that, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the palette that I'm going to attempt to be using is the Morphe 39S palette. So it looks just like, it looks just like this one. So it's a purpley style palette. Um, I'm hoping that I can accomplish that look. It's really cute. I might make my own spin on it, um, but we'll have to see. Now that I think about it, I don't even think I actually have a white liner like that. Now that I think about it, I'm like, well, I don't actually... Well, I guess when we get closer and closer to that, you know, that part of the look, then I guess we'll figure it out. Cause I have like jumbo pencils and stuff like that. So maybe I can take a brush and brush it on, but we'll figure that out when we get to that point. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right into it. I'm going to be, oh, I'm also going to be using, um, cause I know there's neutral colors in that one, but I'm also gonna be using the Bare Necessities palette by ColourPop. I love this. This is what I used on my face to like contour today. Very neutral, very brown. I used that shade um, to do my contour today. Um, so, ooh, I'm gonna use that for some transition shades in case the shades that I am looking for isn't working for me. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in personally. And we're gonna just do this. So let's hope for the best. Close your eyes and hope for the best. Okay, so I'm just going to be, I had to close that palette and now it's like hard to get open. It's like magnetic and shit. So like it's all, all over the place. Okay, so getting my reference photo, it looks like she started with a more lighter purple per se. Like some of these purples don't even look like the purple she had used. But we're just gonna have to make it do what it do. So for the transition shade, I'm actually gonna use the one that's in this palette. I'm going to be using that shade right here. Um, I don't know the shade names, sorry about that. But I'll just continue to try to point at them. So now I'm just gonna put that shade all over my crease. I'm only gonna do one eye at a time. <clears throat> I'm gonna do one eye and then do the other eye off camera because I don't know how this is going to go. So we're kind of just learning together. Yay. So I'm just putting that all over my crease here. 
making that my transition shade. You probably could use a purple as a transition shade, but I want something that's easier to blend. The brush I was also using is a Morphe M441 brush. Now I'm going to start getting into the purples. I'm going to be using a Morphe, not Morphe, ColourPop E2 brush, and I'm going to take the shade... I'm going to try this shade right here. And then I'm thinking, because it looks a little bit more, a little deeper than that, I might mix it with this shade. So we'll start with the other shade first, the first one I showed you. And I'm only going to put that in the upper half of the crease because that's what it looks like she was using it, or where she was using it. So like right... I'm just using windshield wiper motions. Try not to pack on too, too much color because if you pack on too much color, you're going to have more of a hard time uh, blending out those shades versus if um, you do a little at a time. So if you just add a little bit of color <clears throat> to kind of like make it more and more um, darker as you need it to be, it's easier to control it that way. So I'm just going back and forth. Um, it looks like I'm going to bring it in. It looks like she has it in the inner corner, like going downwards. So instead of stopping right here, I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm just blending it out just a little bit more. Just a tiny bit more. Okay, so now that we have that, um, I'm going to take the same brush, and I'm gonna, I'm, keep in mind, I only used that first shade. I didn't actually need to dip into the other shade because I wasn't sure how it was going to look because um, I'm, I'm not much of a purple fan. Surprising that I own a purple palette. Um, so I didn't really, I haven't really touched any of these purple shades. So I honestly had no idea um, how it was going to work and how it was gonna look. Um, in case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm taking that old brush that we used for the transition shade and I'm just buffing out the harsh lines that I feel are a little too, a little too much. So now I'm taking that same brush, the one we were using before, the E2, and I'm going to dip into the second shade that I showed y'all. And then I'm going to use a little bit of that on the outer corner. So right out in here. Only on the outer corner. Bring it up a little to like match what we were doing before. I don't even know if y'all can see me. I'm just buffing it out. And then I'm going to bring it inwards into the other shade that we were using. Just like that. So now I'm going to dip into a more deeper shade. I'm going to dip into this one because this is the first color we were using this is going to be the third color we're using so i'm going to dip into that one and i'm going to use the same brush dip into it a little bit because it's a bit darker of a color you don't want to be too much and i'm going to put that on the outer corner as well so like right on top of the shade we were doing before so right on top of that this is going to add a little bit of depth to the look a little bit more smokiness without using like a dark color like brown the brown or black I'm gonna kinda blend it into the inner corner just not inner corner but like half like halfway in I guess add a little bit more of that dark purple because I want it to be a little darker just like that Okay, and then when I feel satisfied with that, now we're going to figure out mm, that lighter tone. So I have this so far. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, pretty pleased with it. So now I'm going to cut the crease because I think that that'll help make that lighter purple really stand out. So I'm going to take my flat concealer brush that I always use for carving out my underneath my 
eyebrows or cutting the crease I use this and then we're just gonna take a light concealer so the concealer I'm going to use is the stay naked concealer by Urban Decay in the shade 30 CP it looks like this it's a pretty pretty light color you just want to use something that's a bit on the like lighter side I'm only gonna take a little because <clears throat> this stuff spreads very easily and I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna start get a little closer oh god I almost fell Looking at the reference picture. Okay. I might no, I might take it just a little bit higher. On the inner corner. Okay. So that's as high as I'm going to take it, I feel. Yeah. So now I'm going to take a flat shader brush. I'm going to be using, if I can find it, uh, hmm, it looks like when I used it last, I didn't put it back like I'm supposed to. Okay. So I found the flat shader brush that I'm going to be using. I'm just going to clean it off just a little. Okay. So the flat shader brush I'm going to be using looks like this. It's one of my favorite Amazon brushes. And I think the purple-ish color that I'm going to be using, I'm going to try this one. So I'm going to swatch it because I've never used it. That's what it looks like. The question is, I'm not really sure, is how is it going to look? Like, is it going to look like that purple that she has in there? I don't know. Let's try to swatch it. So that's what it looks like swatched. I mean, it could work, probably. So let's try it. So I'm trying to get a good amount on the brush because for some reason I felt like it wasn't as opaque as I would hope it would be. So I'm going to take it on my brush here. It's not going to focus, whatever. And then just pat it. Look. So it looks like she has it all the way until she reaches the outer corner, basically. So I'm going to do that. It looks like that's what she has. So I'm not worrying about being too neat right around here because that's where they're gonna. I'm going to put the white at. Um, so I'm just going to kind of leave it at that. I am going to go back with that uh, E2 brush that we were using for all those other colors and I'm going to dip back into that darkest purple and I'm going to just add it on the outer corner here just to blend the two colors at the very end back together. just like that and then I'm gonna go back with that brush and I'm gonna kind of sweep it in in the middle to kind of blend it even more to like try and get rid of that harsh line right there okay okay all right so now it looks like she also has some sparkles on there so hmm yeah, it looks like she has some sparkles on there. So the kind of sparkle I think I'm going to use would be, ooh, I have like this mineral glitter. I have like this kind of glitter, but it's not as chunky. Like she was using a pretty chunky glitter. It doesn't look like I have something as chunky as that. Wait a minute. Yes, I do. Hold that thought.
I'm gonna, oh god, I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit so I can talk about this palette. So I actually do have a glitter because in the look, if you see, she has like a glitter on the eyes there. Um, and it looks like it's like a chunky kind of glitter. And in this palette, they're all refined glitter, like very, very small. But I realize I have this palette by ColourPop. It's the Biddy, Biddy and ColourPop collaboration. And then in there are these really chunky glitters, like these chunky space glitters. So I think I'm going to use this one, but I know that that one looks really pretty too. So I might, we're going to try the, this one and see what happens. Hell yeah, look at that. Super chunky. Yep, that's exactly what I needed. Oh, let me zoom in a little. Woo! Stay with me, camera. Okay. So I'm just adding... some chunky glitter. I'm using my fingers because that's going to be the easiest tool um, with that kind of glitter. Um, I used to use that palette a lot and I tried with a flat brush that was not working for me. Um, so she doesn't have any eyeliner, like normal eyeliner on. So I guess we won't, we won't do that. But I need to figure out how am I going to, <clears throat> how am I going to do the line because I don't have a white liquid liner. That's something I don't actually own in my collection. So that looks like that might be an issue. I do have, if I knew where it was, I do have this product by Inglot. Here it is. So I have this product by Inglot and you just add it to like things. So you can add it to like eyeshadow, you can add it to things that dry out and all that kind of stuff and it turns it into a liquid. So I'm thinking about taking some of the jumbo uh, Pencil by NYX and then adding a little bit of that to it so that way it becomes like a paste and I can use that with a brush um, There goes my big brain coming out basically coming up with an idea like that. Um, the only thing I need is a brush To apply it with Because I mean Oh wait, I have a brush that I think I could use this might be a fail if I try this one. I'm looking for like an eyeliner style brush. I have this brush. Um, I don't know how well that's going to work out. But it looks like all my other brushes, because I have a shit ton of brushes, um, but it looks like half my brush collection is missing at this moment. So we're gonna have to make it do what it do. So we're gonna do that and we're just gonna figure it out. So I'm gonna take like a good amount. I'm just gonna keep taking the pencil and I'm just gonna keep rubbing it on my skin like this to kind of warm it up and honestly I probably could just do it just like that and just take the brush and then just wipe it on my eye um, but I don't know if I can control it that way and this brush doesn't seem like it's going to actually do what I need it to do so yeah mmm you guys are watching me struggle okay well whatever so we're gonna make it work with that. So I'm gonna put like half a drop of that stuff on my on it because I don't want it to be too loose and then maybe it won't dry. So now I have it on my hand with the stuff and I'm just gonna mix it. So yeah, that does do what I want it to do. It does get like pasty and stuff. So now we're gonna try to draw the line. Let's hope for the best. Nope. I can't do it with this with this kind of brush. I have to have a smaller brush. Ooh, I have an eyeliner style brush right here. Or like a uh, a slanted pencil brush. Maybe this will work. It looks like I'm going to need a crap more product than what I have on the brush. Mmm. I'm going to need way more product than that. Experiment time. You guys are here for a roller coaster. <clears throat> so 
So it's kind of doing what I want, kind of not really doing what I want. Hmm. So we all learn as artists that we gotta make things work with what we got. So that's what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to make what I got work. Because I don't want to, I don't like making excuses like, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that. We're going to figure it out and we're going to make it work. Hmm. It's not as neat as hers is because she's using a white liquid liner. So I guess moral of the story is... If you have a white liquid liner, I would suggest you use that and not what I'm doing. I'm going to see if I can make this white liner that I have, like a pencil, work. We'll see if that works, too. Um, I can't really guarantee it's going to work, but it might work better than what I'm doing. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to work that good. Um, unfortunately, it looks a whole lot, like, more messy than hers does. But, I mean, I'm not going to complain here. Oh, yeah, that's the tip of the white eyeliner. I hope this is making y'all laugh because I'm freaking struggling with this crap. Well, there goes a whole tip of my eyeliner. And that's how much white eyeliner I was able to get. Ah, it doesn't look anything like I thought it would. Mm. Well... Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put mascara on because this is as much as I was able to get through with the white eyeliner. I tried. Um, if I had white eyeliner, more than likely I would have succeeded. Or like white liquid eyeliner. But since I don't own any of that, it didn't go the way I thought it would. In this picture, it doesn't actually look like she has any false lashes on. Um, but... Everybody knows me. I'm probably going to put some on anyways because I messed up my own natural lashes because I barely have any. Yeah, she does not have any. It doesn't look like she has any lashes on. It looks like she just has mascara on. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera so then I can take off this and we can continue on with the look. All right, so this is the finished look. Um, oh, excuse me. I found a solution for the white liner part that I was supposed to do. So, I mean, it doesn't look like the greatest, but it also makes me look very like doll-like, anime character-like. I really, I'm really digging it. Um, I like the purple and the very out, like the dark purple, because it kind of makes it smoky without having to do like a black or a, um, a really dark color, kind of like what I was telling y'all earlier. So for the white eyeliner, I ended up using, I forgot that I owned um, the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Concealer in white. So I was able to use this, and I was able to use that um, flat brush that I used for my brows that I showed y'all earlier. Uh, I'm gonna try to find it so that way if you want to do something like this I ended up using this brush and you can see I already have the white on it So I just took a little bit like a very very tiny bit and then with a very very steady hand I was able to draw it on there So I'm so glad that I was able like all of a sudden it just like hit me in my head I was like wait, I have concealer that I can do so I was able to use this. It's literally in the shade C0 It's literally white like 100% white. Um, this is also perfect for cutting, the, like cutting the crease. If you are um, a bit darker shaded than me, like um, as in skin tone, um, 
you may need to use a more lighter base color so then that way your colors can really really pop so sometimes when I'm doing like a really really like let's say like a yellow or something I might use um, this color because otherwise my skin tone it doesn't show up so I have to use like a white base pastels is another color that I'm have to use white for but yeah this is really really good this is perfect to have in your um, makeup kit or makeup um, supplies or whatever you want to call it because it's perfect for that um, I also used for blush I used the Patrick Ta um, blush it looks like this very luxurious feeling and I used it in the shade if this is not the shade I used is it oh it is in the shade she's sincere so it's like a really really pinky kind of shade and I literally like you can tell I just put it all over my face like because I really was going for that really cutesy look, kind of like what she had in the picture. Um, so I will show you again a side by side of me versus the picture. So here is the picture, the inspo look I was going for. You see like the blush, um, a very, very nudey look, and then the eyes, and then there's me. Let's put a focus. So I'm actually really happy with, with the results. At first I was like, I was like, oh God, I'm going to fail right in front of everybody on YouTube or whatever. Even though um, if I truly, truly failed, I probably wouldn't have posted it. I probably would have because, you know, we're all dying inside, living at home, staying at home um, all day due to being um, quarantined and stuff. So I knew it probably would have been fun to watch and to laugh. Finally, I want to make y'all laugh. Um, so this this made you laugh, then give me a thumbs up. Um, for lashes, I used Miami Lights. Um, in the picture, it didn't look like she had um, lashes at all. Like she used mascara, but we know me, I have to have some sort of lashes. So I tried to do a more, um, like a light lash, like a really smaller lash that's not too boom, like I normally like to do. Um, for highlight, I used the Flexitarian Highlighter um, by ColourPop very shiny um, I only put it on my nose that's it I did not put any anywhere else because the picture she didn't have any um, for lips I literally only have the Too Faced lip injection extreme uh, lip gloss on top that's it it made my lips turn pink kind of like what she had and that's what I was going for so I knew that this was gonna plump my lips and then also um, make my lips look more red even though they're not so if I wipe this off my lips are gonna look this color um, that's why I went with this um, and then yeah, that's really all I used. I went for a more baby doll style look more than what I normally do. And honestly, I'm really, really digging this look. I really, really like this. I really like the lots of blush kind of style. It's really, really cute. So I think I might start doing this more often. Um, so yeah, if you guys really enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed seeing my, me almost fail with my makeup, uh, then yeah, just leave a like comment subscribe to my channel I appreciate it um, as I am pretty bored here in the house I might just start filming I wouldn't say every day but like maybe every other day maybe a couple uploads a week because I'm you know I don't really have anything else to do at this point um, and I do like entertaining y'all and showing y'all what I can do when I put my heart to it <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure that my next video well, I don't, I don't know if it'll be my next uploaded video, but I know the next video that I'm going to record or film will be a shoe collection because I have so many shoes. Like I have so many shoes. So I'm thinking about doing like a shoe collection kind of video um, that will take me a long time to film because I'm gonna have to keep upload or keep recording pause, change shoes, record, pause, take change shoes, over and over and over with all the shoes that I own, and then imagine having to cut that together. So that might be my second or third upload, because um, I don't know if I'm gonna record another video tomorrow, like a different makeup look, I probably will, because um, I really enjoy doing my makeup, it's been a while, but yeah. Let me know if you're interested in that. Um, if you have any other ideas for a makeup look you want me to do, just let me know, send me a message, comment down below, post on my Facebook, do anything you want to do, message me on Snapchat, whatever. Um, and I will try to film it. I will do whatever it is that y'all want me to do as long as it's not illegal or crazy. Alrighty, so I hope you guys have a good rest of your afternoons, mornings, night, whenever I upload this.